Uh, we're all looking for answers, that's for sure, somehow to save our streets. And to date, there have been, sadly, 386 murders in the city of Philadelphia. That's a 3% increase from just last year, which was a bad year, too. And each shooting, it's just a different situation each time. And mm -hmm. it's affecting so many people and families and loved ones, from the parks and recreation worker gunned down by a 14-year-old to the father of seven who was shot to death in a case of mistaken identity. And then there was a 17-year-old murdered while walking her dog. And this is just a few of the many stories, as you mentioned, 386. Yeah. That's why our station is committed to finding a way to save our streets. And we're doing this by telling you about different organizations and events and people like our next guests who are trying to come up with a solution. Uh, Venti Arson Clemens is sitting right next to Alex here, is a local hip hop artist uh, who started this challenge that we want to know more about. Pray for Philly Channel. We talked about it a little bit on yesterday's show, but we wanted to know exactly what it's about and how many people are involved. Mm -hmm. Abbasir is also with us here as well, and he lost his dad to gun violence back in 2015. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Okay. Thanks for having us. So what is it? What exactly is the Pray for Philly Challenge? So the Pray for Philly Challenge is an initiative where we use social media and we use art, hip-hop, music, R&B, poetry to get a message across to the youth. Um, there's also music therapy for the participants that's doing it. The idea for the Pray for Philly Challenge, when we think about prayer, it wasn't just asking things to change. Mm -hmm. It was putting ourselves in a place where we manifested. So by manifesting, we created action and put it into words and put it out there. Because you don't attract what you want. Yeah. You attract what you are. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to manifest this and put ourselves in a state of confidence, come out of the grief, and use this as a tool for positivity. Oh, I think I get it now. So there's a, a base track that you've created, and then I can create whatever song or whatever poetry mm -hmm. I want to put over that music. Exactly. So what I do is I normally send a beat out to the artists and they tell their perspective however they want to do it. About how it speaks to them. Because we're showing different videos as mm -hmm. we were scrolling up of people who have done this challenge. And b basically they have to make sure they use that hashtag too so people can see that it's growing. Yes, they have to use the Pray for Philly Challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we're using social media and social networking as a tool. So when one person does it, their following sees it. Then another person does it. And it's creating unity amongst artists and it's really staying true to that. Philadelphia brotherly love, sisterly affection. And why this way? Because we've been talking about how everyone's trying to figure out how can we stop this? How can we reach our young people? How can we get something changing? And why this way? Why with this challenge on social media? Do you think this will be a good way to go? Well, the reality is violence may, may not ever stop. Mm -hmm. um, we have to understand it and where it comes from. And it's a disconnect between the people that's doing the work and the people that need the work. And a disconnect comes in not understanding the trauma, the depression. So using this is reaching out to the youth because challenges is the thing. It's what people want. They want to be involved. They don't want to miss out. So if you challenge someone, and especially in hip-hop culture, you hold them accountable and you want to test their skills. So it makes people step up. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing it this way. It's a bunch of challenges, mm -hmm. but this is a challenge with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And you do about three weeks? Three weeks. And how many people have already done it? 45 so far. That's really good progress, and quickly. We, we got more people coming in as it grows. And I just mm -hmm. want to encourage people and all the youth out there listening, every artist out there, you got a voice now. Yeah. And I'm putting it on my platform, as you see. So come on, let's get with it. Sarah, are you going to do a track? Yes. Yeah? Because you're an artist, aren't you? Yes. 15 years old. Uh, yes. I'm 14. Oh, you're 14? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm aging you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and I just wanted to say, a lot of people shine from the youth, but I wanted to shine with the youth today, mm -hmm. and I wanted to make sure that he was present so all the young people can see that this is a reality. Your dad was a rapper, too? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, seven years ago, he was. What, what, what happened in his situation? So, um, unfortunately, he was murdered, um, and... Uh, Williamsport, and his, his mother is still uh, trying to get closure by getting the case right. closed, and uh, she's having some issues God. with that. Um, back in 2004, me and him did a record called Am I Gonna Make, and I had a dream about him, and he said, can I do the challenge? And I said, bro, you did. Wow. And I said, I got footage. So I took that footage and I put it on a beat. Let's roll that now. I think we have that. Yes, we do. Um, I don't know if we can track it, but I think we have it. Anyway. Um, so it. he came to you in a dream. Yes. Wow. And he said, I want to do a challenge. So I realized I had footage of him. And the verse is really eerie because everything he says on that challenge 
um, actually happen. Apparently, we're having a challenge getting that. So, uh, okay. So, how do if I want to, you know, uh, spit some lyrics or whatever? <laughs> how do I do that? So, first thing you do is contact me because it's instructions and guidelines. We want to keep this um, on a purpose of what it is. So, I'll send you the beat with the instructions, and from there, you just say your piece at that point. And how do they contact you? Yeah. What's the best way? Social media is arson215, or you can email me at arsonmovement at gmail.com. And it's on the screen right now, so where you can be a part of it there. Good luck. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Keep us updated. You already know. You're doing mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to step up. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And Basir will be looking forward to your audition. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs>